So the first mounting style is a set screw mounted ball bearing where it's a slip fit to the shaft and it would tighten to the shaft using the two set screws. So once the bearing is positioned in place, the flange bolted to the frame of the equipment, the set screws can be locked down. So with an Allen wrench, and typically you could use a torque wrench, and each set screw then is tightened and secured in place. There are instructions in the manual on how tight to tighten each set screw. And as a guide, after 24 hours of operation, it would be a good idea to go back and retighten each of the set screws to make sure they're secured into position. A second attachment method is using an eccentric locking collar. So a matching eccentric on both the bearing and the collar, and it's twisted into place during tightening, locking the bearing to the shaft. So a slip fit on the shaft, the flange is bolted to the frame of the equipment, and then the locking collar can be positioned into place. And once the eccentrics lock up, then you can take the blind hole that's in the collar and use it as a location for a drift and hammer in order to tighten the collar in the direction of rotation. So that's an important aspect to get the collar tight. It needs to be tightened with rotation. If it's tightened against the rotation, the collar could come loose. And then finally, during the tightening, the set screw can be tightened to the shaft. And in the manual, there's a chart giving you tightening torques for each of the set screws. A third method of attaching a bearing to the shaft is a concentric locking collar. The inner ring has tangs that will clamp down in a uniform fashion when the collar is tightened into position. A slip fit on the shaft, once the bearing is positioned and it bolted to the frame of the equipment, the locking collar can be tightened using an Allen wrench and oftentimes a torque wrench would be advised to get the locking torque to the right level. And after 24 hours of operation, it just would be prudent to go back and just double check that it stayed tight. The last of the four mounting methods is by means of a tapered adapter, and this would come assembled as you would receive the unit, but just so you can see the assembly, the adapter can be positioned in place there's a lock washer which becomes the locking mechanism once it's installed, and then the locking nut which is going to help to draw the adapter through the inner ring of the bearing as it tightens and clamps to the shaft. So this also is a slip fit to the shaft. Once it's positioned in place, the flange then bolted to the frame of the equipment. The adjusting nut can be tightened up, and as this is tightened, it will draw the adapter through the bearing clamping down on the shaft. The preferred method is to take a spanner wrench and in the grooves provided in the locking nut, this wrench can be used to tighten the bearing onto the shaft. As it gets tighter, a little hammer action on the end might help get it snug. The manual would give the degrees of rotation on how tight to tighten the nut. What not to do is to take a hammer and drift and use that to beat uh, the nut on. It's just not advisable to have hammers around bearings if you can avoid it.